it's in 3D. He's joining us now from the court. And as we all struggle to hear each other talk, Pat, we're hoping that you can hear us. What was it like to be on that court and hear those cheers for you? Uh, it was incredible. I mean, this is what you work for, right? Uh, the NBA Finals, the biggest stage, uh, but most importantly, to have each other's backs. I mean, I just heard you guys talking and the intangibles, the winning plays, the things, you know, P.J. Tucker did. I'm not even sure if he scored a point, but his presence was felt. Uh, and those are the types of things that we kind of pride ourselves on as a team. And that's what comes that's what it comes down to in playoff basketball. That's how you win. Pat, I had a chance to broadcast your games uh, in, in, against Brooklyn in that series, and what an incredible series. You guys got down, but just showed a tremendous amount of grit and toughness, and that was certainly on display, it seemed here, uh, particularly in that fourth quarter. Uh, what, what was going through your mind? What was discussed in the huddles uh, as you guys were chipping away at that lead there uh, midway and late through the fourth quarter? Well, first of all, it's good to have you back and not in an Atlanta Hawks shirt sitting <laughs> court side. Oh. Uh, secondly, uh, oh. Secondly, well I, didn't think, I didn't think you noticed, Pat. I'm sorry. Well done, oh, Pat. Yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> secondly, I would just say, you know, that Brooklyn series was, uh, you know, an Eastern Conference powerhouse series, and that was the type of things that we needed. Uh, coming back from Phoenix down 0-2, that were the things we talked about. Like, they need to feel us a little bit more, that physicality, that toughness, those hustle stats you guys just talked about. We needed to win those because they're a terrific ball club. They're a terrific team. They move the ball. They play unselfishly. They scramble on defense. And to win the hustle stats and to make sure that they feel us physically like the uh, Brooklyn's Nets did is why we came out with a W tonight. Pat, I love your petty level as you were able to get on my, <laughs> my guy G Hill right here. But what these Bucks fans loved even more was that big time three that you hit in the fourth quarter. Talk about this Bucks team and your resiliency being down 0-2 and then being down in this game but fighting through and finding a way to get the win. Resiliency and it fighting through adversity, that's what we've showed all season. I think that's uh, been the biggest difference between this year and the last few years is we were able to find a way to get through that adversity and just the trust that the teammates have in each other. Uh, you know, we go uh, to war together, we battle for each other, we have each other's backs, um, and the confidence they have in me, I have the same confidence in them. And so you got to shoot them when you're ready, you got to shoot them when you're open, you got to be ready to shoot them at all times. Uh, I missed a few I should have made, but at the end of the day, uh, I made enough to help my team put a, uh, come out with a win. And Pat, we know help to help is a big phrase that Bud likes to use. Take us through Giannis helping and then recovering for that big block to kind of seal the deal there at the end of the game. Uh, I mean, you said block of the playoffs. I might say block of the year, block of ever. Uh, you know, I had a great <laughs> view of that. Um, I almost forgot to grab the rebound or go for the rebound after I saw it. Look at I'm right there on the elbow. Uh, it was a great pass by Book. It was a great play. And Giannis just did what Giannis does. That's why he's the MVP. That's why uh, he's the defensive player of the year. That's those are the types of plays that he makes. That's why he's the freak, the Greek freak. And, uh, you know, it's much better to have him on our team than for anything else. <laughs> At least the biggest one since 2016 or so, right? Yeah, for yeah. sure. Him and LeBron, I mean, they, they yeah. can duke it out for the best block of all time. But at least, uh, you know, he made it to help us get that a win. But we do talk a lot about unstoppable Giannis performances. But how unstoppable was Chris Middleton in this one? How big was his contribution? Chris is an all-star. I mean, he played like it. He showed it. Uh, the thing that I love most about this entire series and this entire playoff run is the world gets to see it. We see it on a daily basis. We see it on a night and night basis. The Bucks fans know it, but uh, the world's getting to see why Chris Middleton's an all-star, and uh, he's one of the best teammates I've ever had, and for him to be able to show it on this stage, uh, it's, I'm really happy for him, and again, much better to have him on our team. And Pat, can you take us back? I think it was late in the third quarter. Coach Bud called a timeout. You come out, you execute, you get Giannis for easy left-hand dunk. Can you take us through that a play that we've never seen before? Yeah, that was a play, uh, you know, Bud drew up. We worked on it a little bit in practice. It's uh, something that, you know, there were multiple options. And the read that Drew Hall that made, you know, he had Chris on one side, he had Giannis on the other side. But, uh, again, P.J. Tucker. I mean, the screens that P.J. sets, uh, he doesn't get credit for it. It's not something in the stats, but he gets credit in our locker room. And, uh, you know, we wouldn't be here without him. And to hit, for him to get uh, Giannis open, the easy buckets are the buckets that uh, we want to make sure we try to get more of, especially for Giannis, uh, you know, because as the game continues, uh, uh, he fights through a lot, and uh, he's exhausted, so it's nice to get him a few easy ones. Pat, I asked these guys, but I want to ask you as well, what is it about this team that when your backs are against the wall, this isn't the first 0-2 deficit that you all have faced this postseason alone? How much confidence has been gained as you've tied yet another series? 
Uh, a, a lot. I mean, it's fighting through adversity. We prefer not to put ourselves in those types of holes, <laughs> but, uh, you know, when we do, it's about staying together. And I think that's what shows a lot uh, in this team, and that's what helps, you know, make you a championship caliber team is when things start going the wrong way, you you come closer. You don't, you know, go apart. You don't, um, you know, look to individual things. Like, you come closer as a team. You have each other's backs even more um, during the tough times, and that's something that Coach and John Horst and the ownership has preached uh, time and time again, and that's something that this team's really uh, responded with.